The first job is to remove the drip tray from inside the fridge. Locate the thermostat clamp underneath the icebox. Using a 6mm spanner and Phillips screwdriver, remove the thermostat clamp. Using a Phillips screwdriver, remove the four screws holding on the plastic cover on the back of the fridge. Carefully remove the sealant so that it can be reused. Cut both cable ties that are securing the thermostat probe to the pipe lagging. Using a Phillips screwdriver, remove the three screws for the thermostat housing. You may need to apply a small amount of pressure on the condenser to remove one of the screws. Now unplug the two wires. Make sure you make note of the wire positions. Mark the probe with some tape where it exits the back of the fridge so that you know the length of the probe inside the fridge. You can now pull the probe out of the fridge. Now pull the thermostat body away from the fridge. The dial will fall off inside the fridge. Then insert the new thermostat probe into the back of the fridge. The probe is hollow and filled with refrigerant, so do not cut it shorter and be careful not to kink or snap it. Put some tape on the new thermostat, marking the probe length so that it is the same as the thermostat you removed. Clamp the thermostat probe to the bottom of the icebox. Insert the two screws securing the thermostat to the fridge. Reinsert the wires back into the thermostat. Refit the thermostat case using the three screws. Replace the two cable ties and reapply the sealant. Refit the black plastic cover. Insert drip tray back into the fridge. The job is now complete.